Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing you how to get this really easy, natural, everyday makeup look. This is perfect for school, it's perfect for work. If I'm not talking, I can pretty much get this makeup on in like five minutes give or take a minute or two and um, I love it I think it's very like full makeup but it's also a lot of light products really easy to use um, quick to do so I'm also showcasing some of my favorite products that I'm loving right now a lot of Tom Ford beauty products which is like kind of random I go through phases where I feel like I'm loving certain brands and right now I have found so many great Tom Ford products so I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you'll follow along and watch it. I'm also sharing um, another eye palette that you can use at the end of the video to substitute for the Tom Ford um, eyeshadow quad. So if you're interested in that, be sure to watch until the end. And yeah, so I hope that you enjoy the video. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, I make videos here on YouTube about beauty and fashion and lifestyle. I also write a blog which is called TimelessTasteBlog.com. I will leave a link to that down below and I would love for you to check that out and give me a follow on Instagram. I'm all the time posting on Instagram. It's by far my favorite social media platform. So if you're interested in seeing more makeup things and just everyday life, be sure to follow me at Timeless Taste Blog. I post on my Instagram stories and I have been doing regular Instagram lives Friday mornings. Um, just get ready with me. So if you like makeup tutorials and things like that, then be sure to check out and follow me on Instagram. So that way you can be sure to tune into one of my live videos and get ready with me. I'm always talking about my favorite new products there before they make it up to my YouTube channel or my blog. So be sure to follow me on Instagram for more and let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, so I already did my morning skincare routine, which I will leave a link to that down below. And I'm gonna start out by priming my skin. I have been a lover of Tom Ford primers for about a year now, and I just tried their bronzing primer. I really loved that, so I decided to give the illuminating primer a try, and I really love this one as well. Um, I have oily skin, and I still am able to use it. It doesn't have a lot of fragrance at all. You can see I have a big zit, so that's cute um but i really love the way it gives my skin a really pretty glow i use about one pump and the packaging is not only is it really beautiful but it is very efficient so you're able to use every single drop of the product out of this container so i just smooth that all over my skin and because this is more of like a just easy everyday makeup look i'm going to be using my it cosmetics cc plus um, I just purchased a new one of these, so I need to pull that out, but um, it is just a CC cream, and I love this one because it has pretty good coverage for just being a CC cream. Whoops. So I love using this on an everyday basis, and I just apply it with my fingers, and like I said, it gets really good coverage, so I love that, um, and then I just go back in in areas where I need a little bit more coverage. This also makes your skin look very youthful and glowy, which I love and it gives like just enough coverage, so. It's perfect for spring and summer. Okay, so lately my skin has been pretty clear, which I am very thankful for. However, I do have a few spots. So what I like to do, um, just really quickly, to give myself a little bit more coverage, is go in with my Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which I love. If you have oilier skin um, and you're looking for a buildable coverage, which is really great. And then I will just add a little bit of the foundation in areas where I need a little bit more coverage. So I like to put some on my nose just to highlight it a little bit more, my forehead. And then any acne spots that I have, I'm gonna conceal over it, but just for discoloration and uneven texture, I like to apply a little bit more. So you get a lighter, more natural look, but you're able to cover some of those spots and it doesn't take quite as long to do. Okay, so you can see that covers this big spot pretty well. Um, and then I'll just go back in with a little bit of concealer in a second to fix everything um, and make it look a lot more flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. If I'm not talking, this only takes me like less than five minutes usually to do everything that I'm gonna do today. But because I'm talking, it's gonna take a little longer. <laughs> so I like to curl my lashes really good before I apply my eye makeup. So I'm using my NARS uh, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, put my ring back on, and I just dot a little bit of this product on my eyelid and then smooth it out with my fingers. Really quick, really easy, and it helps to keep my eyeshadow in place all day. So that's that, 
And then I got a lot of requests, this is basically why I'm filming this tutorial, um, about the Tom Ford Cream Shadow in the shade Opal. And I had posted, I don't know if it was a vlog or something like that, I was wearing this makeup look. And so I got a couple of questions, so I decided to film a makeup tutorial. And I think it's just perfect for work or school. So I just get a little bit of the product on my finger, which also makes it really easy and quick. And I love that I can apply this all over my lid. And then I also bring it up and apply it on my brow bone. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. But for me, it just kinda of kills two birds with one stone. And then I use this color all over my lid, focusing the color on my inner corner of my eye. And then I'm also able to just highlight my brow bone with it at the same time. And then I like to go ahead, I always keep that handy in case I want to just pop a little bit more on top. Um, I'm using the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Golden Mink. And for this I'm using um, these light, the light brown and the darker brown. But if you want to turn this look from like a daytime look to a nighttime look, it's so easy with this quad. You can just add a little bit of the shimmer and then darken up your crease if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using the lighter color in my crease. So I just have a little fluffy brush. And then I just like to work this into my crease. Really easy. It automatically just adds a little bit of depth to the eye but still keeps everything really, really natural, which I love. So that's that. If you want, you can go ahead and sometimes I like to go back in with this Tom Ford cream shadow and just get a tiny little bit to place on my lid in the inner corner of my eye in case it got covered up by the crease shade. Just to help brighten everything up. Okay, so that's super easy. And then what I like to do, which is totally optional, is I like to take the darker shade and like a little pencil brush and then I just quickly, carefully, I just run this along my eyelashes. And so this is like really easy to do and a lot more natural than eyeliner. It's also pretty quick because you don't have to be quite as precise. And it just gives you the appearance of thicker lashes. I like to focus the color on the outer edges of my eyes and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can take whatever is left on your brush and in a second we'll run it under our eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal now. Like I said, I've been going for more natural makeup a lot lately, which feels good when my skin isn't acting up quite as bad. I've been trying a couple of new things for acne, which I am planning to do a video very soon. I just like to see if it's actually working or if I'm just having like a good two weeks. Um, so hopefully within the next month, I'm gonna put out an acne video. Um, so I have my Beauty Blender. I use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just gonna go over the little acne spots that I have and do my under eye concealer. So if you want, you can kind of like, I like to do concealer on the sides of my nose and like in my little cheek lines here. You can highlight with it if you want, but since we're going more natural and just quick and easy today, that's all I'm gonna do. For powder, I have been using the Girl on Meteorites. However, for um, just because I'm not going out and about today, I'm just gonna be at home. If I am gonna be a little bit more active, I like to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I just get a little bit of the product on my brush and um, run this over my face. Like I said, if I was going to school or going out to work, I would apply the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder especially on my T-zone, that works really well and it will last you a very long time. Um, and then I like to go ahead, this is totally optional, and like I said, when I'm in a hurry, I don't always do this, but I like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, so I just like to use this under my eyes to set my eye makeup. Sometimes if I'm like working or at school, when I used to be at school and I get stressed, my skin seems to get oilier, so I want to make sure that it's all of my makeup is gonna stay put and my under eye area tends to crease a lot, so that really helps with that. Um, next, I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals 
warmth for a little bit of bronze and contour and then I just use this MAC tapered brush. So I just get a little product on the brush and swirl it and tap it. Do a quick little contour. I love this brush and this product because you can get such a natural contour. So easy to use and it's also very blendable. So it's not like it's like a daytime contour look, which I love. And then I'll do this other side, which is probably gonna bring out that zit a little bit more. So I'll probably put a little more concealer over it. Like to do my jawline. All right. Very easy and quick. And then if you want, you can take that brush and just clean everything up. Dab it on that zit so it's not quite as prominent. All right, perfect. And then for my highlight, I'm using Max Soft and Gentle. I love this so much. Um, it's just a very natural and very beautiful highlight, but you can still really see what it does. So I like to go ahead and do that. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit and I'll just brush it on my brow bone just a little bit to bring all of that glow like even to my eyes. And then for blush, I am going to be wearing the shade from NARS that I love that has a quite difficult to pronounce name, so it will be linked below as will everything else. And then my MAC angled brush, just pop a little bit of that color on my cheeks. Very easy. And now it looks like you have Good color, very pretty glow. It's all really natural and just flows really well together, which I love. So then just to bring everything together before I apply um, my mascara and brow products, I'll just take that brush that we did the like faux liner on our lids with and just do a little bit under my eye, not a lot. Just you can use whatever's left on your brush. So what I like to do is just focus the color on the outer corner and then just drag it in a little bit. And that also gives the appearance of thicker lower lashes. And it also just helps tie everything together, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick. I like to keep it very natural and I'm using my Anastasia Brow Pomade. And just for the sake of this video, I am going to do it off camera, but you can always see on one of my older videos how I do it, really easy. So I just like to brush my brows up apply the product and then I'll brush them up again. So I'll be right back when I'm done with my brows. Okay, so I went ahead and fixed my brows. Like I said, nothing crazy, just a pretty natural brow. I think I'm slowly figuring out how to get a natural brow with uh, this brow pomade, which is a good thing. Um, so I just went ahead and curled my lashes again one more time and I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. I always say this is my favorite mascara. This is the one that I continue to go to year after year after year. I'll try something else for a little while and then I always go back to this one. It's just phenomenal. So I just put a little bit on my lower lashes. I'm gonna grab another mirror because it's kind of difficult applying mascara looking far away. Um, so I like to do my lower lashes first and then I just go right in for my upper lashes. And I apply a lot of mascara. <laughs> you obviously don't have to apply this much. I like to take my time with my mascara and really kind of like get it in there. This one's, I need to get another one of these mascaras. Mine's starting to dry up, which is unfortunate. But I've had this one for several months and so I totally am fine with it drying up. Now I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of this product but I always feel like I can really shape my lashes the way I want them with this mascara, which makes me very happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyelash now. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished my mascara and now I'm gonna do my lips. And this is a lip combo that I have been like going to basically every day, but I think it's also perfect for spring and just a really natural look. So I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Subculture. Just gonna line my lips. For my lips and my lip color and skin tone, this lip liner is like perfect. Uh, it's like the perfect natural color 
that just goes with like basically my favorite range of lipstick colors which is like a light pink nude color all right that was easy and then now I'm gonna apply Tom Ford lipstick in the shade blush nude which is very fitting for my favorite color however I really think this is a uh, more peachy so you can see it's more of a peachy color but I think it's really pretty and I think it complements this natural makeup look very well so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down so you can see the full look okay so this is the finished look like I said it's very natural I think the eye is just very natural it's very easy I I would say it's like a full makeup look, but it's also just like I said, very natural, perfect for work, perfect for school, perfect for just every day. It's like a great signature look. And like I said, I've been wearing this like all the time because if I'm not talking, I can pretty much get it all on my face and done in five first minutes or so, which is really easy. You can just take your hair down, put a wave in your hair, whatever, you can wear your hair up. It looks really beautiful, very natural and simple. The products are so easy. I also wanted to mention, I forgot to mention this, I use my Naked palette with this sometimes too. So if you have the Urban Decay Naked palette and you just wanted to try one of the Tom Ford cream shadows, it's really great. So I use this one and then I use the colors Naked and Buck. Those are really, really pretty. They're just basic matte colors that you can just mix together and apply it in your crease. You could also use Smog um, just for an easy, lighter, everyday look that would be a little bit more shimmery. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. All of these products, I have really been loving Tom Ford. I feel like this kind of highlights the Tom Ford products that I've been loving so much lately. The primer, the Illuminating Primer is so beautiful. I always love the Golden Mink palette. It's my favorite Tom Ford eye quad. And then the Blush Nude Lip with the Cream Shadows. It's just so easy and quick and natural and beautiful and I feel so good when I'm wearing them. So I hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. If you haven't already, I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. I would love to know what your favorite products are for your everyday simple go-to makeup look in a comment down below because I love everyday makeup. It's my favorite. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.